And next up, a non-serial killer murder play, Nancy Donable presenting every piece details the story. Lobster claw tassels and strapless red dresses are just part of the fun as Nancy reveals her private pasty collection and a pivotal moment in her quest to become a good artist and a bad girl. Pasty, not a meat pie. Nancy Donable. <laughs> I died in the wool goody two-shoes. Uh, in my group of friends, I was the one who could always be relied upon to say, hey, you guys, I don't think that's a very good idea. I think we're going to get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes me not the person that most people would expect to have a pasty collection. <laughs> but I do. And they were each designed and made for me. I was in college, and every opening night of every show I was in, I would find a new pair of pasties. And every pasty does have a story. The lobster claw pasties, <laughs> which are a little distracting. The lobster claw pasties are from our wilderness, Eugene O'Neill. And we had a guest director coming in from New York. I don't know if you can understand the power of the words New York, <laughs> unless you are going to a Jesuit university in Milwaukee to study theater. <laughs> now, he was in New York in a lot of ways, and one of those ways was that he had that sort of debauched, flirtatious thing going on. He would always say, oh, I'm working on this show 24-7. You can come down to my hotel room any night. We'll talk about your character. <laughs> and then finally one night, Michelle and Barb and I, we got sick of it, we decided to call his bluff. But we were all good Catholic girls and we didn't know how. <laughs> <laughs> but we were actresses, actresses, and actresses need to get into character, so we went to the costume storage room and we found, we found our outfits. Michelle, she found pink and black lace shoes. Michelle was always about the shoes. And a pink and black lace dress. Barb had a flowy, clingy chiffon number, and I found a subdued red velvet strapless ball gown with a white net underskirt. <laughs> but it wasn't enough. So we went back to Michelle's, and someone made the suggestion that perhaps an herbal supplement would help. <laughs> how to inhale, so we had to come up with something different, and so we mixed it up in sour cream as a dip. <laughs> it, it wasn't until years later when I was telling a friend of mine this, and he said, Nancy, you have to heat it up. That You have to smoke it. You have to bake it in brownies. And I said, oh, that explains a lot. Because <laughs> we were just overdressed and slightly nauseous. <laughs> now we did find the power to go, and if you want to hear how we did it and you want to hear what happened, Friday night. <laughs>�����������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������